Here was a question Blaine threw out yesterday. We've been talking about this for a while behind the scenes. Um, he asked Coach Mack, and Coach Mack said, well, you're talking about underrated players. I, one of them I'd throw at you is Mark Mariani. Mm -hmm. And I said, I said, ooh, 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 that's a good one. Mm -hmm. So let's hold on to this, and then we'll just unleash it tomorrow. But we put the question out on Blaine and Mickey Twitter. Uh, who are the most underrated offense and defensive players of the Titans era? Mm -hmm. And so Ron Mexico's travel agent weighed in. <laughs> this, I love some of your Twitter handles, by the way. He said, Drew Bennett is the third best receiver in Titans history and on mm. defense. I'll say Tulloch or ATV, he says. ATV. Lucas, who is ATV? I'm trying to think. I don't know. ATV. All right, Ron Mexico's travel agent. You can uh, maybe I just said something. He tricked me into saying something. I don't know, like D's. Uh, Roadrunner says <laughs> DN. West, huh? DN. DN. Uh, Roadrunner says Wesley Woodyard. Mm. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the Woodyard. Yeah, I like that one. But his, uh, his best years were probably in Denver, right? I don't know, man. His first couple people, of years people here. People always want to say that, but he he was pretty he effective was solid. here, man. He, when he when was, they drafted Rashawn was. Evans, and we interviewed Rashawn Evans like three games in, and he said, I'm used to having like 15 tackles a game, and he said, Wesley Woodyard, who's been in this league for 10 years, is running past me to make plays because he knows everything that's going to happen. Like, at that point, you realize the value of Wood. And if you remember Wood's last year, he was like the designated jump-off-sides guy on those pump formation plays that... He didn't even start. Right. So he's just out there like, okay, I'll kill it on special teams. Wood he, is one of the most... He may get say he had his best year, but I thought he had his best years here. He, he yeah, he, he those first two years, he was very impactful. I guess the, the Broncos were better. When Woodyard was there, than yes. the Titans were when Woodyard were here. I guess that's you, fair. You, you lump that together. Mm -hmm. By the way, Brett Bachelor popped in. Alteron Werner might have been ATV. Alteron Werner. Thank oh, yeah. you, sir. Brett Bachelor is just killing it today. Alteron Werner. That's he, he, oh, he was a playmaker. This guy, he, he was a smart, sharp little, you know, sharp little cookie. Mm -hmm. uh, Danny, like Danny weighed in and said Alteron Werner as well. Um, distinguished gentleman says number 97, Tony Brown on that defensive line Tony with Albert Brown. and KVB. Mm hmm. Uh, Chris weighs in in his own TV chat. Brett Curran, he's a weapon for the offense and the defense. I don't think he's underrated. No, he's properly I, he, rated by yeah, Titans he is fans. He's definitely really good. I, I mean, think if you look at the. I, I, and it's really hard to pass up. By the way, my guy, Craigie e. Hendricks, I think he has. But Craig was doing kickoffs too, though, by the yeah. way. Doing kickoffs. I, I bet Greg is wasn't the, the kickoff guy. Yeah, he was not out there to kick it off, so the punter was kicking off. Uh, because he had that background. He punted and kicked at Notre Dame. He sure did. But One. as far as punting, I think he has surpassed Hendricks. I, I do. I think he holds all the stats, like by by a mile now. Kern. Mm -hmm. Kern has been the punter for this team. Fifteen years. Since two thousand nine, he came in uh, and punted the last six games in two thousand nine. The Broncos waived him. Remember the talk was he was punting so far in the thin air he was out kicking his coverage, and I guess Jeff Fisher and Floyd Reese were like. Well, come on down here in this mayonnaise air, as Coach Matt calls it, mayonnaise. and kick it as far as you can kick it. He's 14th. I looked. 14th all-time in the league in yards per punt. And the thing about Kern is, like, we're never sitting around talking about Kern kicks it as far. Is that he kicks it to the two-yard line, and it rolls out of bounds. Well, stuff like that. Kicking, yeah, you know, whether it's inside the 20 or getting a huge change the field kick when needed. Yep. Uh, so yeah, I think I think he's definitely. I don't think he's underrated though. <laughs> I think he. Do you think he's properly type, rated? I, I think he <laughs> is the best punter in Titans history. So that's uh, that's not underrated. Kobe forever says Benji Olsen and KVB. Uh, KVB Ooh. is getting a bunch of love on this. Uh, I talked to Big Benji the other day. Benji also. Uh, Benji was one of the ones that I wrote down. <laughs> Um, Murph says, well, he's listed Will Compton and Taylor Wine because he has a funny picture of them. I don't think either one of them is, is underrated. They're properly rated. Uh, P. Guerra says McCarran's and Josh Evans. McCarran's mm. had a couple of nice seasons. Yes, Josh did. Evans, the man you called uh, Black Superman, right? Mm -hmm. Josh Evans. Rest his soul. Yes. Roadrunner says Frank Wycheck and Derek Mason. Uh, Jay Trav <laughs> says. Underrated. They underrated. Uh, I think they're they both properly the rated. Uh, uh, legends. Jay uh, Trav says Samari Roll and David Stewart. Jeff Burroughs says Nate Washington and Wesley Woodyard. I think that's a good duo. Yeah, I, said, I said Nate Washington and who else? Who did I say my defensive guy? Nate was? Washington was the first guy you said. Yeah, yeah. Nate Washington. Was, oh, I said oh, Arakbo, which, you know, it could be. Him and, him and like Morgan. 
before you know they start getting a little injured, banged up. They they were pretty they were quality and, and underrated as far as and how they good switched they were. systems as you've pointed out mm-hmm. several times. They really switched systems do. on Derek Morgan, yeah. and, and it's he went like, from a four three into now an outside linebacker in a three four, dropping with a lot of trunk. Trunk, <laughs> junk in the trunk, man. That doesn't mix very well. <laughs> He's a full size. He looks like a four three defensive end, yeah. not, not a three four outside. And he did it. Mm. Like the man stopped eating meat for goodness sakes to yeah. make it work. Yeah, I like this one too, Chris Hope. I, I think I mentioned Boy. him as well. Yeah, him and the Griff, man. That one or two years they were they were pretty dynamic as as a safety ta- tandem. Mm-hmm. Chris Hope and David Thornton were a couple of guys who came in to a defense oh. that, that really needed some leadership and did a fantastic job and both the nicest dudes that you'd ever meet in the world. Mm-hmm. It was your guy from Danny, Lorenzo Neal. Ooh, man. Lorenzo Neal was here, what, two years? Two and we years. talk about him like he was here for 17 years. He's here two seasons. His locker room presence, but, man, his play when he hit somebody. Was <laughs> <it>. <laughs> well, you said he would tell people, like, you better tell that guy, stop, Blaine. I'm going to get him. Hey, man. Lorenzo and then he got him. is probably the best. I'm trying to think. There was some couple other ones, but I think he surpassed them best. And I, I wish there was a way he could get in the Hall of Fame and to do what he did for so long. I remember I was broadcasting. I, I couldn't believe it. He was with the Ravens. I said, man, how in the heck are you still playing? I think he was going on year like 15. I think he played 17, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, or it might have been 16 or 17, and I couldn't believe it. I had already been retired like five years and I just couldn't believe it. And he was like, yeah, man, I'm up here just stealing money, little buddy. How you doing? <laughs> he said, 